Frankie! Hey, have either of you seen Frankie? Where's Frankie? Hi, power to your child. Hi, power to your child. Awesome, power to your Have you seen Frankie? Who's Frankie? Hollingsworth. Oh, right, right. right. <laughs> Okay, I heard she's an ace tumbler. I need her for this. Grassy's already got a cheerleading no. team. It's not cheerleading. It's power cheer. Very different. It's a sport. Well, then I'm 100% behind you. <laughs> you get your team together in time, you can even perform at the giant check ceremony. Ooh, Ooh new couple alert. I guess it was just the gas. <laughs> Do you want to try out for power cheer? Oh, count me in. I look totally hot in a cheerleading uniform. <laughs> that makes two of us. Um, sorry, Tristan, girls only. So last term in high school, let's make it count. Hey, have you guys seen Claire? Uh, no, she was supposed to show up this morning to help me. I should go find her. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure Claire doesn't care about us. No, it's not it. Power chair is supposed to be my first start. If Zoe's on the team, it'll constantly remind me of all the drama that happened last term. Don't let her on the team. Because as president, I decree that our final term will be awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to figure out where the heck my Veep is. Claire! Yeah, I... Oh. Oh, oh, that is nasty. Do you have the flu? Because you should really go home if you have the flu. No, I... No flu, just um, bad breakfast burrito. But it's past, I'm fine now. Well, nobody gets over food poisoning that quickly. You sure it's not morning sickness? That was a joke. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, Claire, you're pregnant? I don't want to talk about it. But you said you and Eli didn't hook up when you went to New York. We didn't. It... Drew was the last. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Claire, it kinda matters. No, it doesn't. A week from now, this nightmare will be over. I've already decided. What do you mean, decided? Hi, is this Women's Care Health Clinic? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to book an appointment as soon as possible. excited for a new term. Even the school part? Everything. I finally feel like all the trial stuff is behind me. Plus, I already have my new thing that's going to make this the best term ever. OK, can you even do a cartwheel? Uh, hello. I was the fourth main girl in the 12th Bring It On movie. Right, I must have missed that one. Producers made us train a ton, so I'm probably a better tumbler than most girls here. Cheerleading? Seriously? Hi, Sig. That's egg. And Maya? I'm out. Skipping on the first date? That only means one thing. Yeah, that Tristan is trying to avoid me. Secret lover. Well, I don't kiss and tell. And yes. <clears throat> so, I never would have pegged you for a pom-pom girl. Power cheer is a sport. If you say so. But, you know, if you make the team, you're gonna have less time for me. Probably. You'll just have to find after me. From afar, while I'm in my short cheerleading skirt. Welcome to your first economics class. I know what you're thinking. Boring. But you would be wrong. And let me tell you why. I'm sorry, Miss Edwards. Is my lecture keeping you from your very important call? I'll be back in a minute. I'm sorry. Hello? Thank you for calling me back. No, no, I, I don't need a consultation. Well, can I book a procedure and a consultation for the same time? Why not? I can't sit around and do nothing. I don't understand why I have to wait. Wait for what? Shouldn't you be in class? I have a spare. Let's go on. 
Nothing. Nothing, really. Well, I figured you must be super busy to ignore all my text calls and emails for the entire spring break. That's why they call it a break, Drew, because you take a break. All right, look, Simpson wants the renewal project launch ceremony to be a success, OK? Hollingsworth is donating big money, and he's bringing reporters. I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> Claire, this is your school, too. You're the vice president. You can't just do nothing. Fine, fine. What has to be done? The student council office is a mess. I'll clean it at lunch. There's lots to be done. I've got it, okay? <sighs> we missed our first chemistry class. I don't think we have any trouble with chemistry. Are we ever gonna talk about this? Yeah, sure, let's talk. Okay, well, I'm fine with this being a secret. Actually, I prefer it that way. I just want to know that all this kissing isn't all about Maya. Uh, look, Tristan, you know I don't care about my stupid ex-girlfriend's opinion. Well, what about your dad's? No, mood killer. I'm serious. <laughs> hey, don't worry. Things at home have been fine. Hey, you know, I even agreed to do this campaign photo session with my parents. My dad was pretty happy I said yes. Well, when does that happen? Uh, 15 minutes from now. Crap, I'm late. Oh, well, I could... Girls, I need finely tuned athletes who aren't afraid to toss, tumble, and push through pain to get to championships. You mean like this? Wow, I'm never making the team now. You, uh, you know a lot about cheerleading, Zoe? A smidge. <laughs> okay, well, thanks to everyone who tried out. I'll let you know by the end of the day. Oh, and think about some awesome fundraising ideas in case you're selected, like holding a bake sale. Well, in Bring It On 12, the cash strap team raised money by holding a cheerleader auction. Well, that'll be up to whoever's picked for the team to decide. The damn lamb. I know, I know, I'm late. I texted and called. We were worried. I'm so sorry. You should be. And Miss Power sure tries to be here. Enough, right here. Mom, Look, all I wanted to do was to make you guys happy. Okay, then don't do things you have to apologize for. Just take the photo, okay? Just first explain to me why you were late. I was busy. Doing what? Let me guess. Cutting class, smoking dope, you're hitting on some girl. Never mind. No, Miles. I want you to explain to me why you were so busy doing that you couldn't be doing my photo shoot on time. Making it with my boyfriend. Thanks. Can you please tell me what's stuck up your butt? Excuse me? You ignore me all spring break, and then when I finally see you, you're acting like a complete and total... Never mind. Just leave me alone. It's not going to work, Claire. We run student council together, run each other's lives every single day. Please don't remind me. Like, is this because Becky and I are a couple now? Because we'll try and keep the PDA to a minimum when you're around. I could care less who you kiss. Tell me what the problem is so I can fix it. You can't fix it. What the hell did I ever do to you, Claire? You got me pregnant. We used a condom. Could have been expired. It wasn't. Put it on wrong? I didn't put it on. Then we are that tiny percentage for whom they prove ineffective. How am I going to tell Becky? Or, or my mom? You don't have to tell anyone anything because I'm getting an abortion. I'm just glad you have a plan. Is there anything I can do? Just keep it a secret.
Becky thinks I have what it takes to be unpowered here. <laughs> no brains? Good morning, family. Everyone excited about the Degrassi Renewal launch project today? I know I am. Stop it. Am I doing something wrong? We want to talk about this boyfriend of yours. Because it's ridiculous. <laughs> Kissing someone is ridiculous? Well, then I guess all of us are ridiculous. Except Hunter. Suck it. You're not gay, Miles. Never said I was. And yet you're kissing Tristan on a regular basis? I like him. Why not? Are you guys a couple? Maybe. So you're gay? No. Why? Experimenting with fluid sexuality? Enough. You were dating girls a few weeks ago. You're kissing boys now. It's, uh, it's not right. Hey, honey. No, no, no. Well, seriously, well, it, it isn't. Because our son is not gay. He's just a spoiled brat hell-bent on ruining the last crucial weeks of my campaign. I'm not gonna let you. Well, it's not always all about you in this stupid election. Is that what you told your boyfriend? This is... what a joke. Screw you. Mm. Now you guys to a different school now. Oh, that's good. Big news! You're looking at Degrassi's newest power cheerleader. Congrats, but the pom-poms kind of tipped us off. And where is that skirt that you promised? Shush! <laughs> Ah, uh, hey, Zoe, can I talk to you? Absolutely, Captain, absolutely. Hey, listen, you're a spectacular tumbler, and you have great fundraising ideas, but you didn't make the team. Huh? The girl said I was awesome. After everything you've been through, I mean, with the trial and all, that has nothing to do with cheerleading. Still, I feel that the team feels to have you out there representing the school with all your baggage. My baggage? Do I need to remind you who's responsible for that? Becky Baker? Of course not. But having Zoe Rivas on the squad takes away from the rest of the team. You're a distraction. I'm really sorry. Wow, okay, screw her. Oh, yeah, forget about that stupid team. It's not stupid to me. Settle down. Settle down. I want you to start reading from the top of chapter three before we review. I got in. I got in. To Columbia? Yes. Yes, <laughs> finally some good news. <laughs> good. Curse, Mom. Claire's bum. What? Claire! What? Oh my gosh. Oh. Come with me. Why do I have to be the guy who notices everything? So a New York hospital and a home pregnancy test were wrong. Period equals not pregnant. No baby Jutores, and that is a good thing. I don't think it's my period. I think something's wrong with the baby. What do I do? Go see a doctor. Come with me. Do you want me to get Drew? I mean, he is the father. No. Come on. How's the cramping? It's basically gone, and the spotting stopped. Good. Um, do you have any idea when you conceived? A bit more than a month ago. Okay. Well, based on that, it's too early for an ultrasound. So we're just going to let nature take its course for a while. Claire, it's pretty surprising you're pregnant at all, considering what your body went through with the chemo. It's a miracle. Well, some women never conceive after cancer. But it is possible. You're living proof. If the cramping or the spotting starts again, I want you to come back. Otherwise, make an appointment with the nurse for your next prenatal exam. I'm going to write you a prescription for folic acid, because even though your baby's just the size of a pea, crucial development has begun. There's a baby inside me. Mm-hmm. In a few weeks, you should start to feel movement, just fluttering at first, and then a few kicks. Hey, let's ditch. 
You want to skip the giant check ceremony? Yeah, well, my dad and his campaign suits will be here any second, and I really don't want to be, so. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not meeting the parents. Miles Hollingsworth, missed you after the photo op. Can I get a quote? After all, this is your school. I'm busy. Okay, real quick then. Your father is making a very generous donation to the school. He must be your hero after everything he does for the community. Perhaps you can share some of his words of wisdom? Words of wisdom, huh? Yeah, I think I can come up with something. Hey, just can you just give me a second? Sure. Great, um, okay, so what is the last piece of advice your dad gave to you? Oh, that, that's easy. Being gay is ridiculous. Okay, ladies and gents, they say you can't keep a good school down. Welcome, one and all, to the launch of the Degrassi Renewal Project. <laughs> for a cue. I just want to say no hard feelings. Thanks, Zoe. But I wish you'd realize that everyone has baggage that could be distracting. Even you. What are you talking about? What's that called when your boyfriend gets his best girlfriend knocked up? Oh, I think it's called baggage. Ready, girls? Happy you didn't make that team. Actually, I think a spot just opened up. chance. When that doctor said the baby was going to be okay, I was happy. Why? Claire, from the first day I met you, you've had your entire future planned out. But what if that plan is wrong? Sometimes plans don't work out like they're supposed to, but they're better than you could have imagined. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to have this baby? What do I do? I can't tell you, sweetie. I wish you could. Please just give me the answer. Okay. The answer is to do whatever Claire Edwards would do, because she always does the right thing. Hey. Hey. So, everything's okay? You got your period? No, it was just some spotting. It's normal when you're pregnant, so it's still pregnant. Oh. Well, um, <clears throat> when you go for the thing, the, the procedure, I can, I can drive you there or cook spaghetti for you afterwards, whatever you need. Claire, I'm there. Drew, I don't think I can go through with an abortion. In my head, it makes sense, but in my heart, there's a little person inside me, person that we made. Oh, my God. I need to keep the baby. Whatever it takes, I know I can make it through. If I hold out, I know I can make it through. I know I, I know I can make it through.